After the end of World War II, the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? Drop zone still showing a high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. We've got high visibility. Oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Sunrise. Temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Activate the alarm bottle. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay. All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you.
Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, and bring him back to the west. If we don't get Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat-proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. Sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for dinner. But if anything goes wrong, you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm. Let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. 
I lost it in a tree on the way down. I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it then. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the Survival Viewer, choose Weapon from the backpack. The weapons you're currently holding will be displayed on the touchscreen. Choose the weapon you want to swap out, then press the Enter button. Next, you'll see a list of all the available weapons in your possession. Select the weapon you want to use and press the Enter button to take it out of your pack. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the Survival Viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Commencing virtuous mission now. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades.
Who is that? What's wrong? Who's that? Something there. I must be seeing things. Don't shoot me, please! Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it.
Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Who's that? What's going on?
must be so of. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Vulgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. 